It's one thing to be hungry, it's another thing when you're starving. Starving for greatness and starving for success. It's not about winning. It's the battle itself. It's the struggle. It's the daily test. That's what life's about. I want to struggle. I want to grind and claw and scratch and I want to dig in and I want to push. And I don't want it to end because that makes me tougher. That makes me harder mentally and physically. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You're not in love with the process. A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he putting in work. Because he loves the process. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide for clubs, for partying, for trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. You still got work to do. All the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be all this stuff people say. You got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of f***ing energy and strength that you have to pull it off. It takes being f***ing obsessed to where people think you're crazy. Without discipline, you're nothing. And discipline and doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Losers always take instant gratification. Winner's mentality is, I know what I gotta do. And I do it today, I do it tomorrow, and I do it every motherfucking day from here until the end of time, and then I do it some more. Dedication, hard work. Dedication, hard work. I'm a one-man army. The world can go against me. I'm still coming on top. I need you to go harder than you've ever gone before. I need you to be more dedicated than you've ever been before. Life's one big f***ing head game. You play with yourself. If you lose, it's because you allow life to get in your f***ing head. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the f***ing island, burn your f***ing boats. And you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. There is no plan B. You know who has a plan B? Motherfuckers that lose. Every single person that wins big, they only have one motherfucking plan. And that is, they are gonna win or they are gonna die fucking trying. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat. Where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me. You want something? Go get it. Period. People give themselves an excuse all the time when they say he's built different. Well, if you mean he gets up earlier, he stays later. He does stuff for others. He asks questions. He's humble. He works really hard when no one's around. Then yeah, he's built different. You wake up earlier than people. You stay later than people. You stay humble. You work harder than anyone when no one's there. I guarantee someone that feels bad about themselves soon will label you as he's built different. He's built different should be your label because people feel bad about themselves. You're setting the example every single day of your life. If you're gonna have a true dog mentality, you're gonna wake up every day and grind. You don't wanna go run? You go run. You don't wanna go swim? You go swim. You don't wanna study? You can study. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's gonna suck. It's not gonna be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. When something sucks, good. It's gonna make me tougher. It's gonna give me a good story to tell. So bring it. You want to bring that savage mentality out of yourself. The animalistic motherfucker. You think a savage gives a fuck about how he feels or how she feels? Then just do it. Stop looking for a feeling to control what goes on in your life. Greatness is not something that you meet once. It's something that you meet thousands of fucking times in your life. And you don't reach it 
if you're not constantly in constant fucking pursuit of greatness. Some of you are not successful because you think effort is success. You think because you put in 40 hours that you're supposed to get some because you put in 40. It don't work like that in the school of hard knocks. They don't care how many hours you put. They just want to see the execution. So you feeling in your spirit like, yo, but I did just as much as he did. I studied just as much as he studied. It doesn't matter. You just got to execute. Lazy people do a little work and think they should be winning, but winners work as hard as possible and still worry if they're being lazy. A true dog mentality is not enough you made to the NFL. Be the f***ing MVP. It's not enough you made a 5K. Win a 10K. It's not enough you became a doctor. Be a better doctor. It's not enough you lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. And you gotta get to the point where no other human wants it for you more than you want it for you. Are you willing to sprint when the distance is unknown? And why chase this thing called winning? Because the only thing that's guaranteed in life, if you don't chase it, is losing. The only one that can make it happen for you is you. It's you against you out there. You have to think I am the best guy out there. You want to be uncommon amongst uncommon people. You got to be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. It's always you versus you. Worry about yourself, worry about what you're doing, and worry about where you're going, and only where you're going to be your best self. You're going to do whatever it takes. Do you hear me? You're going to go your own way. You're going to do what they won't do. You're going to be smart, and you are going to win. You're after the peace and the happiness and the pride that comes with knowing exactly what the f*** you're made of. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. When nobody knows what you're doing, when you're putting in those extra reps, it's the process that makes you sweet. I'm telling you that you got to be possessed with the vision. I don't care if I win. I just want to keep coming after you. You're going to knock down whatever that rock is that's been between you and your dream. You're going to keep after. You're going to be relentless. You're not going to give in. You're going to be the person who stays excited until the entire job gets done, until that dream is real. And you know long term, all these other people, they're going to flinch, they're going to get weak, and you won't. In all times when you want to quit, because we're all human here, you make sure you remember one thing. All those times and hours and days, you sacrifice to be the best. Man, stop bullshit. If you really got a problem with your life, you'll change it. You're not tired of being broke. You're not tired of being stuck. You're not tired because if you was tired, you would actually do some shit about it. I'm tired of everybody running around complaining as if you're on the receiving end of whatever this world wants to dump on you and you don't have a choice. It's time to grow up, man. Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. Anybody who is determined to do something, who wants something to be different, it will eventually be different. Everything around you is going to change as soon as you change the things around you. Change your mind and everything about your bank account, your surroundings, your environment will all change. And I know that can be hard. That's why people lose the war. That's why people never achieve their strategic goals. They lose the little battles, the death of a thousand cuts. One missed workout at a time, and then another, and then another, and it all adds up. Why? Because we don't think about the big picture. We don't see the decay. We are like the frog boiling in the pot. As the temperature slowly increases one degree at a time, one degree closer to death, one degree closer to failure. I want to tell you what people don't want to tell you. Why you stop is because you're lazy. You don't mind getting bad grades in school. It doesn't bother you enough to be mediocre, to be average, to sit around and watch people do great things. You don't mind it. You don't care enough about yourself. When that mind gets relaxed, man, you are f***ed. It's supposed to be hard, man. It's supposed to be grimy. It's supposed to be gritty. It's supposed to be horrible. It's supposed to be really ugly. I'm supposed to be battered. I'm supposed to be bruised. I'm supposed to be beaten. Your mind has to touch hardship. It's how you start to create the calloused mind. This is how I'm going to grow. For every level, there's another devil. It is the devil's job 
to create challenges, obstacle courses and issues and conflicts, insecurities, fear, sending people to talk you out of your mission because he wants to put you to a test. But I can tell you now, I piss the devil off every day because I just don't stop. This f***ing guy, every time he does it, doesn't matter if he gets sick, it doesn't matter what happens to his money or his finances, he gets out of his bed and he's on a mission to get it done. Unless you get out every single motherfucking day and put in the work inch by inch by motherfucking inch, you will never get there. Everybody want to win, but everybody don't want to work. Everybody want the reward, but everybody don't want to work. We all got to work. All I'm saying is don't quit. I didn't say don't rest. I didn't say don't recover. I said don't quit. Mentally, you ain't got to take off. Mentally, you can stay connected. You see people who do big things and you automatically say, that guy's so lucky, she's so lucky. You don't know that, you're assuming that. Going to work every day for 20 years and grinding your ass off and then becoming a multimillionaire, that's not luck. That's action and reaction. Quit using the word luck, quit believing in luck and start believing in work. Start believing in results that come from your actions. Isn't it about time you become that person you knew you always could be? How do you do that? You break the fucking mold, guys. You get the fuck out of bed when it's cold, when it's early, and go for a fucking run. Commit to one day and see how you feel. Eventually, you'll feel like, wow, man, that was fucking alive. You can't talk it all the time. You gotta walk it. Commit to one day. Try it. See how it feels. Getting up that fucking early when everyone else is asleep or when it's that cold. When everybody else says, no, this is not comfortable. We shouldn't do this. You say, yes, motherfucker, I'm gonna introduce myself to it.